I heard a whoop over there. Right Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're gathering up on the side of the road and we're gonna go ahead and hit a trail system up here in Michigan. And um, got a pretty grib, big group of people have never been out with a group this big, so we'll see what happens. But this is supposed to be a pretty active area, so just gonna have to plop it on and see what goes down. Watch your backs in the car, you guys. I got radio then. I don't have any, I don't have my IR illuminator just the phone, so this is what we get this time. They don't come across the river too much onto this side, but they're always across the river. Always Here's a fresh side. break at about nine feet, eight and a half. That's not that old. Yeah, there's a yep. something tipped off a lower branch there. I'm looking, I want to look what for what is that? No, there's something heavier, a larger vocal something back there. And no eye shine. So me and Tara kind of came off trail here. And um, right through this, if you can make, yeah, you can actually make it out on, on the camera. This is a trail. Everyone else is up there on the main trail. And we're off paralleling the main trail. I didn't see any mark of big movement up there, but I did right there between those two trail crossings. So. Come on. So there's been big travel through here, you guys. There's been big travel through here, something large. 
whether it be bear, moose, whatever. But you have a so you have a trail going this way, but you have another you have another break just off of that going across this trail, and it comes right through here. And you can see these bent down marks. Mm -hmm. And if you look off through here, do you see that? There's been a larger animal path to travel through this stuff than up there. So, it's like they're cutting between the trail. Maybe making a straight line, not going all over the place like we do from this corner. We've already been here. So, I didn't see. So, there we go again. That's another pathway of big travel right there. Yeah, they're not using the trails. And that'll go right up across the other trail we were on just now, right? Yeah. Come on, honey. Well, you guys may want to just continue up or follow either way. Ship for hair between these trees. It's a great spot for hair. <laughs> you guys are not going to like following me. Are they following me? No. <laughs> Okay, good. Because the trail's right there. It's like 40 feet that direction. So I just want to look and see. So I don't think we're willing to do whatever it did. Well, it went, something's going under this. I'm going quad through that hole. I don't think we're going to do that. I guess we could, but I don't want to. So there's, look at this. There's a fresh break right there. A fresh break right there. This is, so they've been walking around right there. So they've been walking around through the brush, not on the trail. See, yeah, watching people, watching deer. Go ahead. So there's three fresh breaks up here. So really the only sign of movement I get to see is off trail in between. We can go this way. Yeah, we can. Well, we'll go up to the trail right here. It's clear. Come on. Watch for holes, baby. Okay, here's a scat pile. What do we got here? Yeah, we can't go through there. What do we got here? Uh, Fox, maybe? Raccoon? Uh, so there's a scat pile. Oh, the trail's right here. They just went right through the trail. And watch. <clears throat> See? Now we know where we are. Hope we don't get lost. So there's a scat pile right there, but it looks like raccoon maybe. Oh, yeah. Seeds in it? Yeah, lots. You might see, see scat with a prey fish carapace when it's used with mink. There you go, there's yeah. Some mink down there? Mink? Yeah. Uh, no, not where we're at. Otters or mink? Right. No. There They'd are beavers. Be isolated forever if you don't know. Yeah, there are beaver in places. Really? Yeah. 
you have mule deer or white tails here? Mule deer. Okay. There's white tails in the where the pine forests are and cedar barrens and stuff. Oh, really? But like most of the desert lands is all mule deer. They're big though. They get monster mule deer. Because I had vocals over there or something, so. I was just following that vocal report. The arrow flying out around. I'm going to jump up here. Yeah, go ahead, Rod. I ain't got no light. I'm just fucking walking. You guys want to go right or left? I said we go right. Can we go right? Can we go this way? Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Yeah, finally. It's a couple days old, maybe not even, maybe a day. That's push back and pin back though. So generally people don't pin things in. And this is pinned in. And that's something they'll do anally. They'll pin stuff back along the sides of the trail. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Might if we walk down here and take a look. Yeah. Hey, uh, you can see this is a, a pond. Dog prints or cow prints or something. What prints? Dog or coyote. Do we have eye shine across the river? Anybody got good light? Uh, this will show eye shine at like 500 feet. So okay. I got nothing yet. This is flowing water, it's obviously a river, not a pond. Big hole, you guys. Ankle breaker. Ankle breaker right here, guys. So we got pictures. 
Things that look like figures on the other side of this floor. There's a shoe print. That was in the middle of the water, whatever it was. It didn't sound like a pond. Did it? Right here. It sounded more like something going under. It? Yeah, it sounded like more like something going under. It didn't sound like a rock going in. Is that wheel still over there? So what we're looking at here is a tributary river. This is deep water and a lot of trees in it. And we can't see across it because we don't have the illuminator. Yeah, in the daylight you can really see that water wheel. My brother has been all through this place. So it looks like there's been some potential big travel into here. I see several big steps from the ground. I'm just going to pop in here. I'm still looking for sign. I just haven't seen sign yet, like definitive sign. Get two separated from the main group, but. So now the trail is bordered by this plant, so it makes it very hard to see past them. I don't know if you heard her, but they get run out of here quite frequently. Big rocks thrown, tree parts thrown. We really haven't had a couple odd vocals from off in here somewhere. Wonder what's over off this edge. Hey Gabe, what's over off this edge over here? I think that's the way to Yeah. What is that low spot right? Okay, oh, I see we came in. I got you. So we're on a finger. It seems that they might live over here. Well look at all the look at all the look at all the the force and action that's been exhibited onto like these trees. There's a lot of sign just of, of, of things pushed down and pushed to the side. It's not like a... Almost like a view of the blind. Right yeah, that or it's just, you know, a lot of activity over and around. Because you can see how that stuff's not sitting the way it should. Mm. It's like it's been tangled and pushed and pushed through. It doesn't look organic back in there. And that's where I would expect them to be traveling, not up here on the trail. Mm -hmm. Because deer and stuff will walk these trails for convenience. They stay off of them. Kind of not wondering if we should be down off on that. Heard something sound like a moan. Must have heard something. Well, they're going back that way. We got somebody down there. Hmm. So now we're um, now we're entering an area that they've had a lot of pebbles and little things thrown at them. Yeah. I don't know if you heard me tell, but this big mole right here. Right. Behind us. Over here. 
there used to be a structure in there, it was a house, but I've never been down in there. Really? Old antique bottles and stuff. That oh, there's, yeah, there's, stuff. there's, oh, we'll go around there too. So. Apparently across the water here is where they get stuff from. So it's almost like the their territory is on the other side of the bank. And the people, humans all cruise over here. I'm trying to light that up over there for you, but it doesn't look like we're going to have too much success. I wish I had my other light. shine. Hey, yeah. Uh. Scan bank, I'll get out of your way. Her cousin has a camera, it's like some, an Android that takes like, pic, night, like night vision pictures, right? that, but they don't look like night vision, they look like full color, it looks like it's daytime. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll try to find those pictures, but it looks like there's dark figures squatting. Even you can even see them reflected on the water. It's like four years ago or something. Looks like chimpanzees squatting on the bank almost. That was I'm interesting. That kid, I'm hoping that kid attracts them. <laughs> it'll it'll actually probably deter anything. Oh really? Sure. They're not about to try to intimidate a group of people with kids unless they're real assholes. Mm. That's when you, they just back off and go, well, shit. And like I said, unless they're assholes. Yeah. Ooh, big path of travel. Big path of travel. So here's their path of travel, you guys. See these? Bent down like this. Something real big's been through here. Something that's stepping down, not brushing through. It's all a good sign. This looks like a big path of travel. This looks good. They got their whispers from over here somewhere. I don't know what kind of berries these are. They're um, black in color. Or dark, yeah, black. I don't know if those are edible. Generally, if they're black, they're edible. So. Yeah, this is a big path to travel. This is really good. And this has sign indicative of soft-footed animals. See this? Where this has been pushed and dragged all the way down flat. And then you see this? That's been kinked over straight down. That's real fresh. That's not old. Maybe, what, two or three days? Maybe a little more, but right here, off trail, this is where they're moving. And we have big padded areas. And here's another broken foliage. Now we're off trail now, so. But boy, this sure looks good. You can see all the stuff pushed flat. Knock down from the sides. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see your light, honey.
look like a step. It's not, but boy, right there sure looked like a step. Mm. Just keep your eyes out. See what kind of damage we've got on this. No hoof damage. That looks like soft, soft damage. More soft damage. That's not hoof damage either. And then look here. Bent down. Bent down. Bent down. All of these have been bent over and bent down. That's a good sign. That's kind of what more what we're looking for. There's another one right there. And if we go back through here, there's another strip here been stripped off here's another bent down and kink right here and it's twisted over so this is a bend and a twist almost all these look almost all these have been tipped so and look at you can see where the bottom leaves are sticking up in places see this the bottom of the leaves have lighter color yeah. and they've been lifted and pushed up and then look same thing Bent down section, bent down section. These are about, this one's about 5'10", 5'11". Um, don't see any blower damage per se from, that's what we wanna see. This actually looks kinda like a feeding zone or kicking it zone. But definitely been big lifting in here. Something's lifting up, not just passing through. Got sound to my left. So oh, that's them walking. You can see the lights down there. So they're parallel in the trail. So they're not walking on these trails. They're parallel in these trails. Right through what you don't know is. Because here's your main trail right next to it. That's. Yeah, probably. That and just staying out of view. Yeah. Oh, this is crazy. So these are a type of insect look at this what's this shit Wait. What's this? look at them moving look at that wow wow yeah i think it's type of i think it's a type of aphid really cool looking critters man you see them moving i think it's a type of an aphid if, if I'm correct. Each one's a little bug. Look. Look at this. <laughs> wow. yeah, it looks like a living branch, right? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Oh, we got a couple there. Oh, look at these guys. They're crazy. Wow. Wow. Doesn't even look like a creature, does it? That's awesome. This, yeah, it's awesome when they move. It's like, whoa. bottom are bright because of color. If that shows up in night at vision or not, but so that shows the shine and when they'll go through the leaves will flip and then you can see those leaf flips where their feet have come up. So the path to travel through here should be apparent even holes. And if I see holes with flipped leaves and that becomes Hmm. Where'd that low hum come from? Never mind. 
Yeah. I'm not used to being that close to cars. I hear something like that. Like, what the hell is that? They move a, yeah, it's just move a little slower than they are. Now there's a path to travel. You see all kinds of damage through here, see? All kinds of damage through here. All kinds. This, got this, got this. There's a button. There's definitely big steps coming from right there through that side. Where they're going. That trail. It's an old step. I don't see anything that matches that though. So they probably didn't they probably got on this trail, but that's definitely yeah, coming. That's definitely damage coming this way. Right hmm. Trained open ambush point. So, um, Up there. Oh, what is that? Car headlight? There's a road up there. Where's our crew? They're all right around that corner. Should be. We're good. There's a road ahead of us. What do we got here? These are cut. The little world got cut. Who cut these and why would they cut them over here? They're still laying here. Where did they cut that? They try to keep short clips. Make a bunch of them. So, who, what's off to our left? We've made a big circle. Because I heard sound like a hoop over there. I heard a bunch of coyotes. Okay, that might have been what I caught because I was walking while I heard it. So, there's, there's a old stick structure. It's real simple. Like, just like three branches or something. And I thought it was gone and they found it. It's been there for years, but they added to it, I guess. Wait, you see this? Oh, oh, boy. Touching on this. Touching. There's a bunch of brakes or whatever it is to walk right over that. We can't. It does look like there's been something to this. I don't see upside down leaves, so it hasn't been anything to do. These are both kind of old brakes. So those are. Yeah, those are old, so it, it looks like something either came through this, over it, or I don't know what's under it. Remember at George's where you could go under the all the thorns and stuff and it was mm -hmm. all hollowed out of there? You couldn't see it. Here, Tyler? Yeah, there was some back over in there. Okay. 